So in this video today, I wanted to break down a really big common misconception around websites, around the need of them, the use of them, and why you need to stop pouring thousands upon thousands into these magnificently difficult and complicated WordPress sites if your goal is to increase revenue. If you want the prettiest site with the most functionality and you know the greatest amount of plugins features, then be my guest, you know, go and go and spend the money. But if your goal, like 15, 20, 30 business owners we speak to, I speak to personally on a weekly basis, is to increase the amount of qualified booked appointments, qualified leads, then this video is going to be for you. So we speak to 10 to 15 businesses per week. And it baffles me how much people's marketing plan is based around their website. And every year, January comes, right, we're going to attack our marketing this year. And what happens? We update the website. We build a new website. We change the website. When really what you're not doing is changing anything. You're just making it more visually appealing. So in this video, I want to break it down. And what your website's main function should be is to get more appointments, demos, calls, or whatever it may be. Instead of it being an overhyped, glamorous business card that lets your customers do a million other things apart from actually do what you want them to do. So instead of getting them to actually just book the appointment, instead of getting them to come in, what you're doing is showing them the about us, our story, all of these, the blog, all of these things that don't equate to revenue. They have long-term benefits, but really what you want to do is turn those leads, that interest, that attention that gets on your website into booked appointments or into at least inquiries. So in this, we want to look at two, two areas. Your website looks great, but does it actually carry out its main function? And what is a sales funnel and why do they work? So this chart or this flow shows it very, very clearly. So we've got all of our sources of traffic here. And we've got our lovely website, which probably looks something like this. Where we've got our menu with all of our different options. We've got something that looks visually great, welcome. We've got location, opening hours, contact us. We've got assurance services. Now, this is your typical standard gym. Become a Gym Cork member, all the benefits, the gift card, the certifications, everything that comes with it. But where, how easy are they making it for me? To come in, leave my details, call them, you know, get an offer, whatever it may be. How easy are they making that for me to actually do? So this is the first thing. And if we look here at the flow, what you're doing is you're driving all this traffic. You're giving them all of these options to go every which way other than what you want them to do. And what we'll usually see is 95% plus of people exit the website because they just got lost. They went back to eating their dinner. They forgot why they were even on the site in the first place. So we wanna look at it and see how can we streamline that process? How can we make a better client experience on the website? So what would be the benefit for you from switching to a website to sales funnels and to structured sales funnels in a way that are carried around specific objectives? Now there's no limit to how many of these you can have. You can have five, 10, 15 around different services, different offers, but the goal is to have a streamlined customer journey. So it's going to improve conversion rates. They're designed to guide visitors towards a specific action. If it's a booking appointment funnel, well, you're going to get more booked appointments. If it's a lead inquiry, if it's an offer sign up, if it's a body referral um, funnel, all of these kind of things, that you, I can guarantee that you will get more of that end objective because you're optimizing solely around that objective. So streamlining customer experience is the second thing. So they're designed to be simple and intuitive, guiding visitors through the process of making a purchase or booking an appointment with minimal effort. So the example I like to give is this is a client of ours based in London. It's a one minute long survey, which guides them to their specific objective. So if we come through, I can fill in all of my details and really get to an end objective, which it gives me a program, an option to book, an option to call, an option to get a tour, depending on the actions and depending on what I actually implement. Alex Ramosi, one of the biggest people in the space. This is his website. When you search acquisition.com, when you just put in their homepage, this is what you get to. I want to start a business. Recruiting and hiring is my issue. I prefer reading. What's your company name? 
What's your best email? Where does this direct you? Action based to his Amazon site. Now obviously there's a little bit of a connection issue, but you get the point. So what you can now do is streamline all of your traffic. And he knows his qualifying process. His, you're getting a personalized experience on the website because you're getting to answer questions. He's finding out a little bit more about you. He's gaining information, but you're completing desired actions that gets you closer to your objective and him closer to his objective, which is to get more businesses between three and five million or whatever it is. So instead of having this hugely messy flow, what we now have is this streamlined process where we get the traffic on the left, we funnel it into an offer info and tons of social proof on that page, testimonials, people who've claimed this offer, people who've had XYZ experience. They then claim the offer on the second page where we, in between here, we get their name, email, phone number. So now we're starting to build our audience as a result of having a streamlined process. They claim the offer and then we have a thank you page plus more social proof. So now we're getting here at this stage. Not 95% of people with nothing to remember you. We're getting 10% plus. Going away with something. So what it's actually doing is giving them something tangible, giving us something tangible in the form of their contact details. So we can, down here, we can start to send them tons and tons of emails and SMSs and engage with them and nurture them and send them more social proof and information and call them and all of these things because our offer is structured. So not only does it have all of these benefits of improving conversion rate, streamlining the customer experience, allowing us to collect information, increased revenue by virtue of having more booked appointments. It also allows us to test different offers. If we've got a, a sales funnel around a particular offer and we split test it versus another offer, we can very, very quickly see which of those offers is really giving us the best results. So to break it down for an example, let's say you're a gym because we have a couple of gym examples here. So let's say they're using a standard website, doesn't have any clear call to actions. It has their services, their pricing, their location. People can browse the site, but they're not exactly prompted to do anything. It's just more of a glamorous business card, as I said. To address this, this gym could create a sales funnel focused on converting visitors into new members. This could include the following steps. So as we've included in the funnel here, and if you want this document, just comment funnel below. I'll send it over, plus I'll send you an example of this. Um, I'll send you an example funnel that you can implement in your business straight away. Landing page, they could create a landing page that highlights the benefits of membership, state-of-the-art equipment, etc., etc. So the support of community, everything that goes with it, and the call to action is sign up for a free trial. So to sign up for a free trial, they get name, email, phone number, will be directed to an opt-in form where we get their contact information and they agree to the trials or the terms of the trial membership. And then have a thank you page directed to a thank you page, which is included how to schedule their first session. You know, all of the hundreds of people that have scheduled their first session and had an amazing experience. So we're getting a conversion rate of people coming through. And then we're following up with people before they actually come in with nutrition plans, you know, workout guides, everything to make us seem like the all-in-one fit once they come in, they're having a great experience. But even before they come in, they're getting all of this information that they wouldn't necessarily get. We're giving it away for free, so we're positioning ourselves very, very well before the call. And this is something we implement for and have implemented for almost 100 businesses now. And we see it dramatically shift the focus of our marketing because now they understand if they run an ad around a free trial and run it to a specific landing page, they can track the performance of that very, very easily. We're not just sending them into the abyss of the website. So how do you create one? First of all, we want to create a good offer. And here's a couple of offers. Free intro class consultation, bring a buddy, gift voucher, discount, bundle package, new service, etc., etc., etc. Get creative with the offer. Make it appealing. Make it targeted towards the people that you're looking to target. Find your landing page builder. We have a software, domfluent.com. You can click all-in-one software. Go find out a little bit more about that. If you are to sign up to it, we will give you access to our personal pool of offers that we've spent over 12 million euros, dollars, pounds on. And you can go and import those directly into your location. 
and we'll go one step further than that. We'll also give you an email sequence to, which will nurture people who sign up for your offer um, and plus a free consulting session. Unbounce is a free option and I'm sure everyone is aware of ClickFunnels which is about $97 a month which just gives you the funnels. So any of those three and then you want to look at driving traffic and track conversions. So pick a platform as we've shown here in the diagram, any of these will do. Drive them to your funnel, test the uh, engagement of it. You may need to switch the offer, may need to switch the content to get the optimal setup, but this really gives you that streamlined process. So some of the biggest misconceptions and why should you do this? Or what, why people shouldn't do this or why they think they shouldn't do it. Their funnels look awful, they need loads of coding and customers won't get what they're looking for. Three very, very basic solutions. Design-wise, funnels have come on massively over the last few years in terms of design capabilities. And some of them are even as good, if not better, than Magento WordPress experiences. So that misconception is firmly out the window in that you can do pretty much everything you can do from WordPress plugins on these um, newest versions of these funnel builders. In terms of you need loads of coding web skills, a lot of these are drag and drop. So you could do it, I can do it, but it's really working out the structure of it and knowing what makes customers take action and then just planning it out. So rather than it, the skill being in the actual coding or how to develop it, it's more how to structure it and what goes where. So it's really level the playing field in terms of this being accessible to everyone, which is why everyone should be doing it. And then customers won't get what they were looking for. Very, very simple fix. You make the logo of the funnel. If someone wants to go back to the rest of the website, there you go. So your website isn't redundant. It's just not the main focus of your marketing efforts. People can still go and look at it and we can link it back from our funnels. But really we want this dedicated landing page to be it. So <clears throat> all in all, that's really the summary of what we're trying to do. And I can guarantee you three things. If you use it, you will convert more customers. You will get more booked appointments. That's simple. So choosing not to do this is just simply being a little bit lazy. And I will give you all the tools. We will give you all the tools. As I said, comment funnel, message me, ask for a funnel layout. We will give you one exactly tailored towards your business. Try it for three months, drive a couple of thousand users there and test it for yourself. A lot of people say, oh, they don't work, this, that, the other. They do work. We've hundreds and thousands of ad spend, millions of ad spend to prove that, to back that up. So try it. Drive a couple of thousand users, match it against your website performance, and see which gives you better results. And as mentioned above, DM us the word funnel, or sign up to our discounted all-in-one software, and receive a high converting funnel directly to your fingertips today. So go from having this conundrum, this really, really confusing setup, ditch that for a streamlined process when it comes to your marketing efforts. So all in all, I really do hope that something like this is of value to you. If anything, it should just get you thinking about how you can create more streamlined, more improved, more efficient customer journeys on your online presence. Because really, if you can get more customers com uh, completing you know, actions that drive your business forward, then as a result of that, your business is going to drive forward. And one will have a direct consequence on the other. So get customers to do the things you want them to do, not to find out and look at your lovely online presence, but actually to inquire, to book in, to come see you. And ultimately that will lead to your business growing. So I hope you found this video useful. As I said, if you need any help when it comes to funnels, when it comes to the best offers, the best engagement, the best funnel setups, just comment below, reach out to me on Instagram, whatever is easiest for you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and thank you very much for tuning into this. See you in the next video.